the flooding and devastation that was left behind from the thunderstorms was massive. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers estimated the damage to total over $10 million. They found this number to be because there are 58 destroyed homes with another 145 damaged. They also included items that were not recovered, infrastructure repairs, and relief effort. One of many wonder how a flash flood could cause this much destruction in such a short time, and we will look at the storm formed and other variables that can play into set it all. The disastrous effects of the flood could also be seen in the discharge area of each basin or at the Pipe Creek Basin, a peak discharge was estimated to be 15,000 cubic feet per second for the drainage area of 11.3 square miles. It is very evident that the flooding had occurred in this region had a significant impact on the people that lived in this area as well as on the land surrounding it and the lasting effects of the event can still be observed today. In this region of eastern Ohio, flash flooding is not uncommon in its streams and there is a small possibility that a flood capable of producing the same effect it had in June 1990 can potentially happen in the near future. Throughout the historical records of the three county area, many accounts of minor flooding have been reported, but none of them were as hydraulically significant as the flood that took place in 1990. According to a resident of Belmont County, more people live in these creek valleys, especially with the popularity of mobile homes as a way of living, such as the land in the creek valleys used to be farmed, but now is used for home sites. Since the majority of people that live in this region are close to creek valleys, it presents a greater risk for potential flood damage and lost life. Historical accounts indicate that as many as six major floods may have occurred in the three county area since the early 1800s. Furthermore, it should be noted that most of the small streams in the area have never been a part of a systematic stream flow data collection network so there is not a clear scientific basis for confirming historical accounts of flooding. Stop this water about two and a half to three hours. Two and a half to three hours. And uh, what would happen is half of them were in the chain, and the rest of us were out in the water holding the boats and throwing sandbags to the people, and they were just setting them down in front of them until they got a good base built, and we just started building up from there. The sound of people fighting for their livelihood was a sound that would reverberate all summer long, from Clarksville to Cape Girardeau. Some incredibly brave people, under some incredibly hazardous situations, performed their jobs despite the miserable conditions. The magnitude of commitment that went into fighting the Great Flood of 1993 stretched the Corps' resources and people to the limit. Yet it stirred in us an unyielding passion to fight 